Hi Leos, this is your love and relationship reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so Leos, when I was shuffling the cards for you guys, I kept hearing somebody say, stop playing with my life. Okay, I don't know where that was coming from, but I had to mention it because I'm shuffling and I just kept hearing it. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, somebody is so sick of somebody, they're pissed off at somebody. Okay, so you guys had a jumping card, and it is play and fun, okay, which is actually um, the two of pentacles in this deck. Um, you sick of somebody, <laughs> and I don't even know what else to say with me. Let me fix my light. I'm sorry. You guys are sick of somebody playing games, okay? You sick of somebody juggling. You sick of somebody taking you for a joke. You sick of somebody running in and out. You sick of somebody not being able to make up their mind between you and another person. And I just kept hearing, stop playing with my life. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this card up here. And we're going to come back to it to see how it ties into the rest of the reading. Now you have desire and passion. So somebody is passionate about you, but this person abandoned you exactly. Okay, this person abandoned you, but they I feel like somebody wants you back or they're gonna want you back. Now keep in mind we are in um Venus retrograde from May, I want to say May 15th. It was from May 15th to June 25th. Okay, and then we just had a couple of new moons. It was crazy, like in Sagittarius, I believe, and the next new moon is in Cancer. Um, and then we had a new moon in Gemini. So it was just a lot going on here. So I'm feeling like for some of you, Leos, that somebody may be swinging back around, <laughs> okay? Don't, don't get mad, don't get angry because I feel like for some reason, this person walked away from you, they hurt you really bad and you may not be willing to take this person back or you, you're you gonna have to think on it or something like that. We do have the divine masculine here. So someone turned their back on you. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of tattoos on their back possibly or on their arms or neck or something. But whatever the situation is, this person's life is a whole mess right now, okay? This looks like some type of, first of all, they're submerged in a sea of water. So they're emotional about something. And then it's like they, their life right now looks like a kaleidoscope of chaos and confusion. And they're trying to figure it out. But I feel like what happened here all right, so let's just see, Leo. I feel like what happened now, this is not you feeling this way, Leo. This could be your partner feeling this way about you. But I'm feeling like for some of you, oh, I had the cards all the way over there. I'm sorry. I'm feeling like for some of you, this person abandoned you. They turned their back. They walked away from you. But this person still desire you. They still have passion for you. They still have love for you. But I feel like they were chasing something else or someone else. Okay, and whatever the situation is that they were chasing, it doesn't look so good now for them. So they could be, your partner could be going through something. So if you're not talking to this person, even if you're talking to this person, right, um, you guys haven't broken up, but they're like very silent, very um, very standoffish, um, just distant and cold, and maybe they don't want to be bothered, and you don't know what's wrong with them. They got something else going on with someone else, but it didn't work out for them. They abandoned you. Or something and you know their situation didn't turn out the way they expected okay um the bottom row yeah see i have this some of you are dealing with someone and they're not really you guys aren't really talking right now you're not talking to this person or they're not talking to you but you're you're wondering like what is going on with them why they're so silent and why they're so quiet we have observant and stalking. So I feel like this person is watching you. So keep that in mind. Like they may feel like because they walked away from you and they abandoned you that you're going to do the same thing to them. And I feel like this person is afraid now. They're sort of scared or something. Um, they could also have a family. So some of you could be dealing with um, a family situation surrounding this or their person that walked away from you. They could have They could have went back to a family situation and that could have been the reason why they abandoned the connection between the two of you. But I feel like this person is now juggling. It's like they're in their head about something and they're trying to figure out what they want to do and how they want to handle the situation because I feel like this person wants to come back in. Okay, or they don't know what they want to do, but I definitely feel like they they don't want to lose you. 
it's something about you that they feel like they can't replace. Now, they went out there and they tried to replace. See, and that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling like this person may have tried to replace you. And then they realized that they couldn't. Okay. So if this is not you feeling this way, Leo, um, your partner could be cross-watching and they could be feeling this way about you. Okay. And for some of you, um, you're definitely dealing with an Aquarius because when I was shuffling the cards, I kept hearing Aquarius come up or like, like seeing that like in a vision. And some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's keep that, keep that in mind. All right. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what else the universe has to say about this situation. Yeah, first card out the deck is the Three of Swords. So there was a third party situation here and you're very disappointed. You're very heartbroken, sad, angry. You know, you feel like there's some damn type, type of storm that you're going through with this person. You feel like somebody stabbed you in the heart. You wanted the Ten of Cups with this person, but they turned their back on you. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or they could be on like, or some of you could be on like that Leo Virgo cusp. Um, but you wanted the Ten of Cups with this person. We have water sign, um, water energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Remember I told y'all I kept hearing something with Aquarius and stopped playing with my life. <laughs> and I was like, what is spirit trying to tell me when I'm shuffling these cards? Um, okay, but yeah, see your mind was set on the Ten of Cups, having a family, you know, and you could already have a family with this person because remember, you did get the family card as well. Okay, so there could be some type of family situation tied up into this. But, you know, this is what you wanted. But this card came out reversed because you didn't get that because this person kept playing games. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so they made you feel stuck. They made you feel trapped for some reason. It's like, I feel like whoever you were dealing with, Leos, it's like they kept coming in promising you something, but then delivering you nothing. And <laughs> you're like, what is your deal? Like, what is your problem? Like, why do you keep coming in promising me shit that you can't deliver? And you're looking at this person like, is you crazy or no? <laughs> like, why, why, just say what you want. State your claim. Why are you here? What you want? Like, what, what, do, what you want to do with this connection? But stop playing games. And I feel like they kept coming in coming out you know going out coming in you know promising you things and not keeping their promise and it's like each and every time i feel like you got more involved with this person or your connection sort of grew but it wasn't healthy because look at this person they they have a blindfold on and they're bandaged up like they're tied up and it's like they're trying to navigate um with a blindfold on through this mud and water yeah Somebody had you guys in like a bad situation. Ten of Swords. There was an ending here for some of you. You know, you felt like this person betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. And if this is not you, Leo, this could be your partner cross-watching, feeling this way about you. Like they felt like you betrayed them and you stabbed them in the back here. They felt like you didn't appreciate them. This person could have did a lot for you or you could have did a lot for them. But whatever the situation was, somebody feel like... Um, they can't recover from this or it's going to be a long time before they recover from this but i'm also hearing like i can play i can replace you too <laughs> like i don't know some of you may be telling this person like if you try to replace me i can replace you too okay it's like you know two can play that game but you know it's it's never fun when both of y'all are playing it they don't want that it's like when you be like, oh, oh, I want to play, I want to play. They be like, no, 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 <laughs> no, I don't want you to play. You know, then they like, no, because then the game ain't fun no more. They don't want no opponent because they know once you get in the game, Leos, and you start playing that, I can replace you too, boo. Game with them, they stand a chance of losing. Because, I mean, there's somebody out there for everybody, right? Yeah, basically. But we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it's like um, something you had your heart set on with this person just didn't, it didn't pan out, it didn't work out. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn, and you felt like um, things just fell through the cracks here with this person. Or um, I'm also picking up the energy of 
an earth sign just playing games, just back and forth, where something is not stable with this earth sign that you're dealing with. And you're like, what am I doing here with this person? Like, it's not even a good situation. And I'm all out of sorts and bent out of shape over this person. And it's like, they're not even, I feel like for some of you, you were like, this person's not even doing anything for me. <laughs> like, why am I so bent out of shape over them? And I feel like you can't call it. It's like, you can't put your... You can't wrap your head around why you're um, feeling this way about them. It's like, it's something about them. But I'm feeling like it is this, this passion and this desire, this this chemistry that you guys have in this connection. But yet this person doesn't know how to act. And they moved away from you with the six of swords. Or some of you could be um, dating someone far away, possibly overseas in another state, another country. Um, this person may not live near you. Okay, but um, with the six of swords, this is moving to safety, moving to calmer waters, like getting out of a situation that just doesn't serve you anymore. I don't think that card's supposed to go there. No, it's not supposed to go here. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't serve you. There was a lot of secrets with this person. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces, or it's like something you found something out that came to light about this person. Like whatever secrets they were keeping, I feel like they were just like coming out little by little, or they will. Yeah, somebody was pushing you away, Leo. You were offering them your cut. It could have been a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or any sign for that matter. But I feel like you were really emotional about the situation because you couldn't understand. Like, one minute, this person pulls you in. They draw you in. It's like they're reaching out to you. They're texting you or they're calling you or they're hitting you up on social media. Whichever way you were communicating with this person, whether it was a dating site or whatever, um, they were reaching out to you. And then it was like you would get all involved with them and then they would pull back. Look at this person. They got their arms folded. They're not, they got their legs folded. It's like they're not even accepting this cut. And you are looking at this person like, why the hell do you keep playing these games? Like, what are you getting out of this? But I'm feeling like you're just dealing with someone who's unstable as fuck. Okay? <laughs> that's, you, that's, what, that's what I feel here. They're unstable as hell. And it's like... Now that you know this about this person, you're so caught up into them that you don't even know what to do. You're trying to, I feel like you're trying to pull your energy back from this person, Leo, but you feel like you can't. We have the seven of swords here, someone being really sneaky, running off in the other direction. But see, the thing about this card, Leo's, is that they stuck these two swords down in the dirt and they're like, okay, I'm going to leave these two swords right here and then I'm going to come back for them. But I'm going to sneak off, run the opposite direction to deal with someone else. So it's like they didn't want you to leave or go away. They still wanted to have you. I feel like you were dealing with someone who wanted you and someone else and possibly someone else. It's like they have multiple people that they were dealing with. And they were being sneaky about it. Could have been an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that you were dealing with here. This person walked off. Eight of Cups. No communication for some of you. Okay, could have been another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they walked off and then it's like they didn't say anything. The Eight of Wands is in reverse, and I feel like this happened really fast. It, for some of you, it could have happened like one, one day you were talking to this person, and then the next day this person was gone. Gone. And you're like, wait, like what is going on here? We were just kicking it. <laughs> like we were really just kicking it, having a conversation, talking about life or whatever and here you go gone like here you go like moving away with no warning or anything but i still feel like somebody's coming back because of the way the message cards came out but this is how you feel about this person leos you're sort of stressed out about this this is some heavy energy that you're carrying or your, your partner is carrying this heavy energy about you. Somebody done lost a hill on their damn shoe. Like, they've been really carrying these wands around. I'm not listening, y'all. I'm not laughing at y'all. I always laugh at the illustrations on the cards because it's like, how do these people think it is when they come up with um, the artwork, right? I think it's um, amazing. But anyway, 
I'm not laughing at y'all. I'm just laughing at the fact that this person wore the heel off of their shoe. Like, dealing with this. Like, carrying these burdens. Walking really far. I feel like whoever this is. Remember when I said somebody had a family situation going on? I feel like this person is headed back home to their family. Because you see the home in the background here? It's like they may have walked away from their family. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, this person walked. You had a family with this person, Leo. And they walked away. They walked away from their family and they're coming back. They're headed back to their family. Missing the hill on their shoe though. <laughs> okay? Missing the hill on their damn shoe. Because they didn't carry these burdens so far. But they're coming back in. Um, yeah. See, now they want an equal give and take with you. For some of you, this is definitely an um, earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay? That you were dealing with. And if not, it's just whoever this person is. They're ready for that equal give and take. They're ready for that balance. You see they have that scale in their hand. See, they wasn't doing that before. I feel like before it was like this. It was reversed. Now, they're ready to give. When before, they were just taking. And you were doing all the giving. See, this is, <laughs> this is how you're looking at this person now, though. Look at the, oh my God, look at this person's face. It's like, listen, I don't trust you. I don't care. It's like, it's not that they don't care about you, but it's like, I don't trust you, for one. For two, what do you want? Why are you back? I'm going to protect my heart, my emotions, and everything involved with it to make sure that you do not hurt me again. Because I'm picking up the energy that for some of you, all of these wands that is behind this person, this is everything that you have gone through with them. And it's like, you carry this with you. Somebody is carrying something really, really heavy with them, around with them. And it's like, you're like, I'm, I, I don't know, like, I still want you, but I just can't trust you. So I feel like some of you out there, you still want this partner, Leo, or either your partner still wants you and they feel this way about you, but they don't trust you. They don't trust you at all. And this is how they look at you, or this is how you look at them. And that is a terrible way to have a relationship or a marriage or any type of connection where you don't trust the person because it's like no matter what they tell you, that you can just have come from outside and the damn sky is blue and bright and the sun is shining and they come in, they be like, oh, it's nice outside. And you be like, let me go to the door and see because I don't trust you. And I'll be <laughs> So, like, I don't believe you. Let me go see it. You'll be like, oh, wait, I did just see that it wasn't <laughs> outside. But it's like, I don't trust nothing that you say. Basically, that's what I'm picking up here. Okay, so it's like you don't trust this person. You still love them, though. You still have love for them, whoever this is for. Do you trust them? Hell no. You don't. And I feel like there's a lot of thinking that's going to go into this connection when this person comes back because you don't trust them. And it's hard to try to have love without trust. It's nearly, it's damn near impossible. You know, like it's hard because you're like, okay, I hate this glare, I'm sorry. You're like, okay, like what are we doing here? You know, you start questioning everything. Like, what are we doing with this connection? Because if I can't trust you, you're like, what do we have here? You know, because for me, loyalty and trust is everything to me. It goes a long damn way. Like, I need you to be loyal, and I need to be able to trust your ass. And if I can't, then we ain't got nothing. <laughs> we ain't got nothing. So, I'm feeling like that's just, that's how some of you are seeing this situation, even though you still love this person. So, we have the Six of Cups here. Okay? So, that is reconciliation. That is someone thinking about the past. Okay? Wanting you back. Reminiscing. Water sign, energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. See, these options that this person thought they had wasn't good options. Somebody had a damn, um, what is that? A hood or a sheet or something over them where they couldn't even see who this person really was. And I feel like they walked off to this person not really knowing who they were. This could have been someone that they just met or someone that they knew before and they tried to relive the connection with them and then they found out something crazy with this person so they they felt like they had some type of option here that was better than you but i don't feel like it was i feel like this person realized that they could not replace you leo 
And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female energy, okay? Because the cards are not gender-based. So take it as how it resonates with you. Um, but this person, you may have felt like this person used you, okay? And if this is not you, like I said, take it how it resonates. It could be the other way around um, where this person feel like you used them. They may have felt like you were all about um, the bottom line like just material things or whatever they could provide for you so we have the five of wands here you have a lot of conflict third party energy gone here okay so for some of you your your partner like they're releasing a third party or that third party released them because it was too many struggles here too much conflict too much competition i'm also picking up the energy that um your person they got angry because they had to compete for someone's love. It was just too many people in that person's life. And I feel like they didn't know it in the beginning. And then when they got involved with this person, they sort of realized it and found it out. And it, it didn't sit well with them. Because, you know people it's like they can dish it but they can't take it so they can go out there and they can be involved with multiple people well, when somebody is them somebody else is involved with multiple people it's like they whole world shut the hell down they can't take it yep look tell you they they can't take it the nine of swords worry fear anxiety this could also be your person feeling this way um about you leo because they gotta try and come back to you and make this right I feel like this person thinks that they're just going to come back in. For some of you, this person thinks they're just going to come back in with no explanation. Your person. They really do. And I feel like you're going to be like, pause. Mm -mm, flag on the play. <laughs> like, pause right here, right now. Damn it. This is not even going down like this. Like, you walked off to a whole nother situation. And now you want to come back. Because this is how your person is feeling. But this nine of swords, this is exactly how they're feeling. They're not happy. And I'm feeling like for some of you, this person left your partner. Oh my God, you can't make this shit up. We got the five of cups here, regret. There's some regret here, okay? Because like I said, this third party energy stuff with the three of cups being knocked over here, there, um, there's like some third party energy here that is just something that didn't go right it's just not like the three of cups are on the ground and then the three of cups are turned over here so some type of emotions or something were spilled out of here and now it's like they see these two cups i don't feel like they see it yet but i feel like they're going to realize um the energy with these two cups that are right behind them whereas though they're going to be like yeah i want to come back and you're going to be like pause Pause that. Mm -mm. Like, no, we're not doing that. And even if you do accept them back, Leo, it's like if you feel like it's not going to be the same. Yeah, but they want, they're going to be offering you something with this Ace of Pentacles. A fresh start, new beginning, you know, forging a new path with you. But with this smoke right here, and it's a real world. I see that as being issues, problems, drama that they're bringing with them. It's like they're offering you this pentacle, but they're still attached to some type of foolishness that they have not properly healed from. Because I don't care what nobody say. If they're coming out of a situation and they're feeling like this, but they haven't properly healed yet, then they're bringing that shit right back to your ass. And that's something that you are like, nah. That's how I'm feeling like you're going to be like, pause, flag on the play. <laughs> like, hold up. Like, we're not doing it. Because they're not over something. But it's like, this, since the situation didn't really go the way they expected it to go, then they don't want to be, like, without or left out in the cold, is what I'm picking up on here. Oh, wait. They don't go there. Yeah, but... um there's going to be some type of new connection forged here at some point yeah see we have the page of wands 
we have the four of pentacles and we have the two of swords so this person is afraid they don't even know if you're gonna accept them back they don't even know which direction to go because they know they have two people here so i'm feeling like this is you and this is this other person and there was some deception with that crescent moon there was some deception and then i feel like they don't want to face it they don't want to look at it that way they don't want to see it that way but that's exactly what it was exactly what it was and we have the four of pentacles here so it's like they're still hanging on to you they don't want to let you go but i feel like for some of you this person is not even telling you this yet they haven't contacted you i feel like for some of you this could have happened already to you um and then for others i feel like this is energy that is to come with this page of wands okay there's some type of communication that's coming in with this person that you were dealing with they're going to want to start things over or try to fix something or try to see if you're still available to them because they don't want to lose out on what you guys have even though they were the ones who screwed everything up they don't want to lose out on it okay so those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Leo. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Never Tarot. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.